All right, YouTube, the Can Stand Project is uh, carrying on, and I've even heard rumor that my buddy Spitz may come all the way up here just to see me, to have fun playing with this project. So anyway, this is the lovely piece that uh, I've selected for the top plank, and uh, this is the profile. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start by cutting it out on the table saw, and... Uh, See how far I get with that. It's just got a nice gentle round on it. Okay. And all I did was I made a, a little template. And you just can lay it right down on it, size it up, and check it. And then once I start shaping it by hand, I'm going to make a reverse template so I can check the profile back and forth, keep it uniform. And so that's the next project, making the top piece with the nice curve in it. That's going to be so sexy. Look at that grain. Isn't that crazy? tools. Let's see how this is going to work for me. Just taking a little sliver right there. Yeah. This is extremely hardwood and it stains my hands purple. <laughs> Very, very difficult. Running it through the saw, the saw is protesting. Running it through the planer, planer's protesting. Chop saw in it, chop saw is taking forever. Must have a high iron content, that's what I'm guessing. And I can see I'm getting tear out right there. Yeah, I'm getting tear out right there. So we probably need to plane in this direction. Seems happier. Seems happier in this direction. As you can imagine, this is going to take a little while, guys. So, I'll save you some of the tedium and I'll show you some of the results. Right now, it's just taking tiny little slivers off. Got enough planning done to make a start on it.
keep it down for a while. And I'll show you some results of it. Well, I think that came out sweet. And that's on the super coarse grit. Because if you use fine grit at a high speed, it just burns it. These black marks all over it. So you have to use super coarse grit when you're shaping. So here, let me show you how the profile came out. Now you see I'm a little proud of my top part. I'm okay with that. Add a little more curve to it. I can still feel a little flat on the top, but the best way for me to take that out will be with my electric DA, my dual action sander. But uh, I just wanted you to take a look at this. Got all the tear out out of it and got the shape to it. So it's looking pretty sweet. It's going to get cut down too because this end has a uh, wind check in it. So I cut a piece 16 inches long. I'm going to take about 3 inches off of it. This is where it will really start. It's going to look like that. I would love to get this symmetrical in it, but not with that. Okay, this rosewood definitely uh, turns my skin purpley black when I work with it. It's awesome. All right, let's look at this in the, in the daylight over here. Is that a good angle for you guys? Yeah, maybe that's better. Okay, here's the profile. Oh yeah, the camera's working real good. Huh? That's the beautiful grain that came out of it. It's the other end. There's a little tiny wind crack on the end here, but I'm not worried too worried about it doesn't extend into the piece, it's just like where it ended. It's this tight little knot area here. That, uh, and maybe when I turn it on edge, it catches the light better, huh? That's a pretty awesome piece. It's been sanded to 320. Can't take it any further than that because I want to get my friend involved. He's going to, if I can, if he'll come down here, up here, he'll uh, get involved and do some more. I'm probably going to do the base, but I think I'm going to leave the upright part until he gets here because that's like the most complicated part. And uh, get him involved in it. This is so smooth and beautiful right now. It's just wonderful stuff. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Who would, who would have thunk it, huh? I never thought I'd be making a headphone stand, but why not?